My name is Brent Stabener and I'm a consultant with Logan Consulting. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create non-stock items in Acumatica ERP. For goods that are purchased from vendors or sold to customers but do not need to be reflected in the company's inventory, non-stock items can be defined in the system. A non-stock item can be a service, labor hour, charge, or physical entity for which the quantity does not need to be tracked. For each non-stock item, users can specify and periodically update purchase prices and sales prices. The current price of an item is automatically inserted into the lines of sales orders and invoices for which the item is selected, and this results in quicker and more accurate data entry. If the item price has changed, users can automatically recalculate the document amounts based on the updated price. Also, users can specify the standard cost of a non-stock non item, which can be used in purchase orders and accounts payable bills if the vendor price is not specified. The same non-stock items can be used in AP, AR, inventory, and sales order modules. So before we set up the non-stock items, we first have to make sure tax categories and unit of measures are set up. So let's first go to the tax categories form, and that's in finance, taxes, and then in manage tax categories. Here you'll see I have one created just called exempt, um, but if you wanted to create a new one, enter a new add ID and description, and down here we enter uh, that ID and then how we calculate the tax. So once you're done there, you can then go to the unit of measure form, and that's in configuration, common settings, and then under common settings, unit of measure. Here, we're just making sure that um, we have a row for the unit of measure that is being used. Um, if, there, if it's just a something that's always going to be measured in one, then simply add it add a row here just like this top row. So once that has been created, you are now ready to actually create the non-stock items. So let's go to the non-stock items form. And that's in finance, accounts payable, under manage is non-stock items. So here I have pulled up an example of what one would look like. Um, this is a advert, so an advertising item. Here's my tax category right here. The exempt, it's a service, but you can also choose labor, charge, non-stock item, etc. Um, and if we go to the pri price cost, we can enter that default price here. And there's more information across these tabs. We can enter the vendor that we purchase it from. The default expense account has to be entered here, and if there's a sales account, that can be entered here. And if you want to add attributes or a description, you can do that as well. Here is where the base unit gets set right here in hours. And as you remember, there's 60 minutes in an hour, so minutes is another unit of measure as well. So once you're done, you click the Save button right here. Um, and let's say we, want, we have one already existing and we want to update the price. So here we can enter in $20. And then at the top, we go to Actions, Update Cost. And that will update the cost anytime advert is used in an order and give it the $20 price. And then for more information, please visit our website at www.loganconsulting.com or contact us via email at info at loganconsulting.com or via phone at 312-345-8800.